Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm in Lightroom and I'm playing around with a night scene that I shot in London a number of years ago. With all these new masking capabilities in Lightroom, I've been playing around making some videos, as you might see in that playlist, and frankly just having a lot of fun. I really enjoy these capabilities, uh, but I hadn't really edited any night shots, and I frankly, I just love to shoot in cities at night, so I thought I would take one. Here's my photo today. It's a long exposure, but it's really dark, right? It wasn't long enough, apparently. So um, the first thing, you know, in looking at this is you just gotta, you gotta just uh, increase the brightness, right? So I went to about 2.5, and that seems like a lot, but when I pull the highlights down, that's gonna be like a negative 70. And I pull the whites down as well, that's like a negative 38 or something like that. I'm also gonna adjust the temperature. I'm gonna uh, go a bit cooler simply because I like that look in cities at night so something about like that and the tint is fine shadows i am going to lift a little bit so like you know plus 30 something so maybe maybe low 30s about like that and i'm going to give it some clarity i love clarity it's it's honestly just a fantastic slider so maybe something about like that and a little bit of vibrance uh so like you know 60 something uh, you know, a little bit. Um, and there you go. I mean, honestly, massive difference in the photo. If you look at the before and after, there it is before. Um, I also did a little bit of transform and a crop before starting this video. But there it is without any of these basic edits. And there it is now. Honestly, much improved. But I wanted to take advantage of these masking capabilities to isolate certain areas and do certain things because in looking at this photo, there are certain areas where I want to do certain things and some things that just don't really look right to my eye, don't really fit with my uh, my preferences here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is actually give it some sharpening, which, you know, I don't, I don't do a lot of. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty good here in Lightroom. So I'm going to give it a little bit of sharpening and pull up some detail as well. So something about like that. But I'm going to give it a fair amount of uh, luminance noise reduction because uh, the, the sky is a little bit noisy. So if you zoom in here, and if I look at the before and after, there it is before and there it is after. Probably a little too much sharpening, to be honest. Uh, um, yeah, there you go. That looks a little bit more reasonable. Let me put on the detail a little bit as well. That is showing up in the sky. But if I look at areas like this person here, um, actually, it's going to look better if I zoom in here. Let me do that. And if it's, you know, this window's tiny, but if I look at the before and after, there it is before and there it is after, a little bit crisper, a little bit sharper. Um, I think that looks pretty good overall. Now I want to go in and take advantage of these masks and, you know, frankly, have some fun. Here's something I found. If I go in and click Select Sky, because that's one I, I want to select, it found the sky quite easily, honestly. Now, it doesn't pick up all the pieces kind of behind the, uh, the bus that was blurring by, but frankly, low light and lots of different things going on, it picked out the sky pretty well. So I was pretty happy with that. And the only thing I want to do is just drop the temp in the sky. I just like cooler looking skies, like more blue in skies this is something that I like. So that was the first thing I wanted to do. The next thing I wanted to do is go in and get a gradient, a linear gradient, and that is, and I'm gonna come and drag that in, kind of this lower half, something about like that. And in this case, I want to raise the exposure a little bit. So I wanna brighten that area, give you a little bit better visibility. I'm gonna add some texture to it as well, because you know we're talking about all this concrete kind of surface, and I just think that looks good if you give it a little texture and also a little bit of clarity, which is what I'm gonna do now. So I think about mid-20s there. And I'm actually gonna give it a little bit of dehaze as well. You'll see that adds a little bit of darkness, but I think I've been able to, if I turn this off, uh, let me show you the before and after. There's the uh, bottom half, if you will, before the linear gradient and after brighter, a little crunchier. I think it kind of fits in terms of um, what I would expect visually. And these kind of pieces in a city, like I said, all the man-made stuff, lots of concrete and all that, I just think they look better if they're a little bit crispy, even at night when you wouldn't necessarily see them as well. I don't know, I just like to kind of add a little bit of crunch in those areas. So I had done this and I thought I was done, but honestly, this blue section up here is bugging me a little bit. So I thought, hey, this is a good time to get a color range mask. So I go in and do that. I get my dropper, I click right there and basically select that color. There you go. Now. You can see it's also selecting a whole lot of other stuff. So I'm gonna go in and hit subtract and I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna get a big one. And what I wanna do is just uh, subtract it from the sky and all this kind of other stuff because what I'm gonna do there is basically just uh, kind of adjust the temp, etc. And I don't really wanna mess with all the color and the temp and all that that I have this other part of the photo. So as you can see, quite a bit of erasing to do. Maybe it's not the perfect 
uh, tool for isolating that area, but basically I wanted to isolate that area. And so now that I've done that, I need to find my notes here. So my temperature, I'm going warmer. I'm gonna go about a 15 or 16. You know, you know, so maybe something about like that. And I'm gonna go like a negative 20 or so here on the tent as well, because I'm basically getting away from that magenta kind of cast that's on those buildings. And I'm gonna pull the saturation down just a little bit also, just because I just don't really need it. In fact, I'm gonna go a little bit less warm because it's bringing out a little too much gold and a little bit less uh, saturation as well. Basically, just wanted to isolate that area, get rid of some of that blue kind of overall feeling to it. I like my blues, I just didn't really want them there. So now that I've done that, I actually thought I was finished with the photo, but then I thought, hey, you know what? These masks are so good. There's a couple of things I might would do. So I went ahead and I got a radial gradient. And what I did is I just drew a big old gradient over here. So something about like that. And in this case, because I'm focused on that little center section, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the uh, exposure a little bit more and pull down the highlight. So about a negative 30 there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of texture. So like a 25 or 30 and the same on clarity, another 25 or 30 there. Something about like that. So if I turn this off, you look at the before, you can see it's a slightly darker, a little bit less crisp. And after, it's got a little bit more of each of those. I like that. I just wanted to kind of accentuate that section of the photo. I mean, it's really the focal point. You know, you got a bus blurring by, you've got crisp, sharp buildings, and a lot of people down that side. And so, I don't know, I feel like your eye is kind of converging in that section, which is slightly off center. So you could drag the radial and go a little bit more that way if you wanted to. Uh, or, you know, I, th I think it's fine. Maybe, maybe I'll just do that a little bit, but that was essentially it. I just wanted to take that uh, center section and just frankly give it a little bit more oomph. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mask and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And then I'm going to come over here and invert it. And now I want to reset the different um, slider adjustments that I made here. So now I've basically got an inversion of that last mask. And all I want to do here is cool it off a little bit. So like a negative five or six. I do like a little bit of blue in my cities, like in the sky and the edges is fine. I just didn't want too much on that building. And I'm also going to reduce the exposure. So maybe something about like that. So I'm basically creating a vignette, but by using it with a radial, I'm also able to control the temperature of that vignette. So it gives me a little bit more control instead of going over to the uh, vignette tool. Also, it's a great way to be able to adjust the center of your vignette because I can move this thing around. And so um, it's a great way to just create a vignette and adjust accordingly, which I like to do. So an inverted radial mask comes in super handy in that way. Um, and really that's it, my friends. That's the entire edit. Now, I've selectively you know, applied edits to certain areas, adjusted temperature and clarity and texture and all that kind of stuff, brightness levels, all that. And frankly, I went a long way. So there it is, single exposure, too dark, not long enough, not enough light to work with, and that sort of thing. And now much more vibrant, much more alive, and just a lot better feeling overall. I think it's got the right amount of crispiness. It's got the right amount of color in the right areas. I really like all the color on that passing bus. Um, with the blue and the red and the yellow and all that. really like those colors, but I think it's not over the top. And then crisp and that sort of thing on the right-hand side where uh, the people in the buildings are. So one more time before and after. And that's it. This is kind of how I'm using masks to isolate and target areas on my night shots in cities. Like I said, I've got a lot of these. It's just, just one of my favorite things to do is wander in a city and take photos. That's how I'm taking advantage of the power of these adjustments in Lightroom to do that for me. Hope it helps. Hope it gives you some ideas, my friends. Thanks for watching and hanging out. If there are other things about Lightroom you'd like me to address, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, catch you in the next one, my friends. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon and adios.